Hello my friends, welcome. I'm really delighted you could join me for another video. It's a new month at Lavinia Stance and that means we have a new theme for the creative challenge. This month's theme is underwater. Now this video isn't the video that I'd planned for the start of the month due to family circumstances but we're going to make it work. I'm calling this one Simi because uh, it uses the fabulous uh, eye stamp. Now I'm often asked how to do the flip technique uh, so that a face can be created. Uh, I did a, a picture which is on my blog a few years back and I'm asked all the time about this so I thought we'd do that today. Uh, but before we start, uh, it would be so good if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already done so and hit the notification bell and the like button and all that stuff. Lavinia Stamps recently featured this set of stamps in the craft store television show and this is a sample from the show. Now the idea behind this was to incorporate the sea, the underwater theme with the sky and to use a veil. So let's see what materials we need. Okay to begin as usual we have the ink sprays, we have chip sapphire and periwinkle blue. Moving on to the Distress Oxides, we've got Squeeze Lemonade, Shaded Lilac and also use Faded Jeans. In terms of the permanent inks, uh, we use Cheerful, the yellow, a blue called Paradise and Purple Delight in the pinky purple colour. Uh, I've used a black Onyx X uh, Versafine, I would use Nocturne if I had one. <laughs> Now the Versa Mark uh, for some heat embossing and uh, this is some twinkly uh, white embossing powder uh, called uh, Snow Tinsel. Now the Pan Pastels uh, for this one we're using Phalo Blue, Violet Tint, Yellow Ochre Tint and the titanium white. We're also using a, a fluid acrylic, acrylic paint in indigo and of course the diamond stickles uh, from Ranger. We have the Liquitex matte gel medium and we also have rice paper I buy mine from indigo blue. We have the spray fixative for the pastels And I'm also using on this occasion some coloured pencils and I have a couple of brands. I have my Intense uh, ink pencils and also the Prismacolor and it's just really for the colours more than anything. As uh, usual I've got my uh, glitter pens in blue, pink, purple and gold. I have some Posca pens, sorry one Posca and one paint pen in blue and uh, a paler blue. We've got the yellow and the white gel pens, a fine liner and a pencil. We have the paint brushes. This is quite a large size 16 and this is just an old one uh, to use for the uh, matte medium. I have some a sort of makeup applicators for the pastels and also a makeup brush for the inks. I also have uh, my circle template for the moon, a couple of smoothies and a, a palette for the acrylic paint. So that's about it. Of course improvise as usual. Uh, now in terms of the stamps and stencils, I haven't got very many uh, on this occasion. We have the fabulous eye stamp, we have the fairy spells verse, the star mini number two, and we have also the stencil, the coral. In addition, you may wish to include some fish stamps. Uh, so let's begin with the background.
so that's the project complete it's mounted onto yellow and black card um, as you can see I've added uh, some more color to the eyebrows with the pink uh, glitter pen and also some yellow in the eyes I just thought it needed a little bit of extra color because there's so much blue in the picture you can just about see added a dot of glitter for a nose um, embellishment or a piercing so it's a bit different um, under the veil at the bottom it's underwater and then the top for the sky and I promise that I will do uh, all singing all dancing underwater one next time for the mid month I'm also showing you how I added lines across the veil with the colored pencils uh, just to emphasize the folds in the veil so that's about it and thank you so much for joining me and take care and I'll see you again.